Hello, <laughs> and welcome once again to another episode of Third Action. I'm your lovely host, Jason, and these are the same three mm, gold bullions that were here last week. In the bottom left, we have Ash. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> it's me. <laughs> we were just talking about Asher. I was like, I was yeah. ready to go, too. I was like, that's my character. It's Asher, Asher now. Damn it. Damn it. Human <laughs> wizard. <Yeah. laughs> Crossover episode. This is why I should have come up with an entirely Strike. new intro. Cut this. Just take it no, from the top. No, no, we're still going. It's, it's funnier this way. In the bottom left, we have Reagan Belladonna, Academy wizard, played by Shar. Yes, and I have my president's day fact since I was sick last week all right i don't know how real this fact is but apparently george washington turned down his presidential salary uh in 1789 which was twenty five thousand dollars, which in today's money would be between eight hundred and seventy six thousand dollars and a million two hundred thousand dollars <laughs> so i don't know where they were getting this money from uh but i guess they had a good war nice <laughs> <laughs> Oh, in the bottom middle, we have Mayhem, Human Vigilante Fighter, played by Will. Sorry, i just thinking, I think the president's salary nowadays is about $1.2 million. So. Oh, shit, is it? They haven't it, changed I might be that. mistaken about, about right. that. I'd have to double well, check, but it might actually be in that range. Well, it's the only salary that has risen with inflation. <laughs> Strangely, somehow. I, and I could be wrong about that. I might be mistaken, <laughs> but still, that's that number seems correct, actually, to me. So... <laughs> And in the bottom right, we have Felix Milos, Maestro Bard, played by Alex. How are you Hello? doing? How do I put this? For all the salary, like, the description of the White House kitchen has always amazed me. The idea that you, <laughs> someone's just sitting around there, when you got the munchies, they'll make whatever you feel like. <laughs> That's what I need. There was an episode of West Wing where they go into the kitchen and raid for ice cream, and it's just... They have all the ice cream they ever need because you never, like you said, they never know when the president's going to decide he wants whatever flavor of ice cream. So they just have it, tubs of ice cream. Anyway, well, from politics <laughs> to other politics. I looked up the uh, president's salary. It's apparently four hundred thousand dollars a year. Okay, so actually quite. lower than the uh, yeah. the upper range for what it would have been for. George Washington, Washington was going to yeah. make a shit ton of money, and he was like, yeah. absolutely not. I have wooden teeth. He didn't have wooden teeth, but, you know, he didn't need the money, I guess. <laughs> hey, guys. <laughs> hey, guys, it's Pathfinder time. <laughs> <laughs> We're getting to the politics mood. Come on. All right. Hello. <laughs> uh, that's not quite the song I wanted. All right. Let's go with this one. All right. Okay. Last time. On third action, our group of intrepid adventurers, uh, or uh, whatever you are, not quite adventurers yet, but uh, we'll make adventurers out of you someday, kids. Citizens. Um, our intrepid citizens, sure. Uh, <laughs> um, made their way over to uh, Castle Corvosa to return uh, a stolen item uh, that they had recovered from the clutches of one Gadron Lamb. Uh, this item turned out to be uh, the um, a, a brooch given to the queen by her late mother um, and an item that she treasured very dearly. Um, you were introduced to the uh, sort of head of her personal guard, um, Sabina Marin, uh, and then to the queen herself, uh, in a, a bit of a surprise audience. Um, the queen rewarded you with uh, quite a bit of gold in the form of uh, some 12 heavy bars, uh, which you promptly took to the bank um, to cash out. Um, but while you were there, uh, the queen also indicated to you that uh, she could use people like you helping out um, with the current unrest in the city as she tries to grapple with what to do next, uh, whether or not to stay as queen uh, uh, or potentially flee back to Cheliax. Um And you agreed to potentially at least hear the guard out on uh, the sort of things that they might need assistance on um, and decided that you would go talk with um, 
uh, Cresta Croft, the field marshal, at some point. Um, so, uh, you, yeah, made your way to the bank, cashed out your money, um, and started making your way, I think, towards the Citadel. Um, I'm not sure if you were going straight there or not, um, but uh, on the streets along the way, you came across a group of rioters um, who were beating up a poor little uh, um, uh, young man, <laughs> noble, by the main name of Eamon Jalento, um, who you did manage to rescue uh, by the skin of his teeth, um, but not without killing a couple of rioters first um, and scaring off the rest. Um, you then let the guards nearby know what happened and they'll take care of the the mess left behind um, but you uncovered some interesting info about um, Sabina Marin's past um, and yeah I think uh, where we left you uh, you were uh, walking a bit and uh, I think you're all quite heavily injured um, so sure Let's go ahead and jump back to the map. Um, oh, you're not currently in mayhem form. You are Telios. Just a simple firefighter. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. So yeah, you guys were accosted um, on your way south uh, through uh, the West Docks district. Um, sort of right on the border of it. Um, and Northgate, I think that's what... I forget what this... I can check. North Point. There we go. North Point. Uh, between West Dock and North Point. So, what do you do? Floor is yours. Hmm. That's a good question. I would like to recuperate someplace. That took a lot out of me. But... So we've already reported into these guards, let them know that there are what happened and they are cleaning up the situation. Yeah, you you brought them over to the uh, crime scene, explained to them what happened, I presume. Uh, yeah. And then uh, they said that they would handle it from here. Okay. Very understanding. How common is it for people to murder each other? <sighs> Not very common, but you get the sense that because you have Tullios with you, they are taking you more at your word. Okay. Uh, Tullios, I am in uniform yeah. at this point. I, as I went to the castle that way, so. And I'm, I'm presuming Tullios is doing most of the sort of talking with the guard, so yeah. It, it, he, he seems to know all the right words to say to imply that this was... I mean, it, it was an attack on you. It wasn't Right. It, it was yeah. more if or there's less any, If there's any point at which it seems like they might be trying to turn it on us, I would be stepping in. But I'd otherwise actually let Felix do most of the talking and mostly just kind of stand there as the authority. Okay. Yeah, they... possible. These guards are already so tired and overworked from the last couple of days that they seem to just kind of take you at face value and, and go along with yeah. it. Um nothing seems to when you lead them over the bodies everything you say seems to line up so um yeah they're they're not they're not terribly suspicious at the moment okay yeah like we have uh the note from the queen if we really need it but like felix isn't going to use that unless it's it gets to that point um instead like no they'll just take your they take your names down um, and say that they'll follow up if if an investigation comes to that. Okay. Um, no, like, um, after that I would figure we would probably figure out which, where is the closest place we can stumble to to uh, get some healing. Like, if we were pretty close to the, to the Citadel to begin with, that may be the best place to go to. Um, so I can not heal. exactly. Close. It just takes a long. It would take at least thirty minutes, at most an hour and a half. If we wanted to take the time, then your bar is probably closest. Yes. Otherwise, conveniently, from where yeah. you are, the bar is like basically halfway between where you are currently and the Citadel, and it's sort of on the way. So you could stop there. 
Yeah, there are some churches to the north if we wanted, but they're out of the way. And I mean, yes, Shailen the nearest sanctuary church is the sanctuary of Shailen, yeah. Yeah. So probably if we if you don't mind Reagan. I it's there we should use it. And like yeah, it's we're just up the road a little bit. Uh we can we can stumble on in and get a chance to catch our breath and figure out if Reagan's gonna continue on with us to see what the city what help the city needs. Okay. So you guys take the uh, however long minute walk that is. Should I actually calculate that? Let's see. It's like 750 plus 650 feet. So 13, 14. So like 1400 feet and where's my travel speed? Travel speed. A mile is what? 50 to 80? Yeah, something like that. So feet per minute on you guys are roughly twenty five feet, so you get two hundred and fifty feet per minute, so divide by two fifty. That's about five, six minutes. So yeah. We'll call it uh we'll call it a five minute walk. Mm. So not very long at all. No, just right around the corner in this case. The streets are also kind of dead, I assume, still recovering from riots and crackdowns. Um, yeah, yeah, a lot of the businesses are currently like quite boarded up, um, and you see very few people out on the streets, aside from guards, like, running past in groups. Um, the few people that you do see are mostly, like, inside looking out from their windows. Um, you do hear groups of shouting in the distance, but it's sort of not not your immediate concern. Um, like, like clusters of people arguing, that sort of thing. Um, uh, I forgot, but uh, this episode is brought to you by The Eclipse. Ooh. <laughs> Which is today's new draw. Um, and what is The Eclipse? The Eclipse is stars. Uh, it is the... Is that lawful evil? It is evil. Oh, there might be chaotic evil, I think. Uh, yeah, I think. Just says evil according to the sheet. Oh, it's lawful that. evil. In the... Uh, I have the grid. It's it's the oh, lawful can... evil card. Cool. Thank you. Um, so yeah, you guys make it back to the bar. Um, the script and scrimshaw. And I can... I should be able to warp us there. He works a little sticky. still have a bunch of invisible children here, apparently. <laughs> children! <laughs> <laughs> uh, da, 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 da. I said you can stay here as long as you want, but it's a little excessive. <laughs> <laughs> Stop being invisible. Also, no real reason for you to be invisible about it. Stop that, kill children. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> here we are. All right, so you return to the bar. Oh, gosh. Just sitting Things down are... would be wonderful. <laughs> so you just move to the table closest to the door and pull out a seat. <laughs> My poor, poor hit points. <laughs> oh. I'm... So the doors were open when we got back, correct? And I'm, told, uh... Uh, Felix opened, unlocked the door okay. and opened it for you. Okay. Yeah, yeah we, these... we locked up before we headed out. Right, and these doors over here were also left open on purpose? Yes. That's just the back room, and like, I think feel like I, I was in the process of, of like running breakfast. So I yeah, I'm just I, I'm, <laughs> a little suspicious. I'm sorry, we got yeah. jumped in the street. So, <laughs> so Tullius is immediately looking around anxiously. He, he notices doors open and is. Uh, Technically, is we did the jumping it, but... that time. Uh, yeah, we just weren't winning very, uh, no, intensely. No, it turns out torches are very effective at beating the shit out of you. <clears throat> Pardon me. Excuse me. No, but yeah. how to 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 um to calm Tullius's mind, like Felix will go check out the back and make sure that it is as disorganized as it is usually. Yeah, you don't see anything uh 
out of order. Everything looks the same as it was. Okay. It's kind of dark in here. <laughs> then I will stumble over and if collapse. You happen to have one of those pool. those invulnerable torches. Feel free. I have something better. Which where did it go? Done. Not a it up. There we go. Have some light. You cast light Yay. and a, a small moat appears from the end of your staff and brightens up the room considerably. Now we can see our injuries. That's good news. <laughs> I won't be fumbling in the dark. Bop, bop, bop. All right. Everyone could use some topping off, it seems. Yes, everyone's... Uh, 15 or lower yep. <laughs> in HP. Yep. Everyone's below half. Every 10 minutes to everybody because of my continual recovery. Oh, that is useful. Yes. Oh, excellent. Okay, so yeah, you um, can uh, get those rolls started. Some mm. Just tell me who you're targeting. I will target Tulios first. Okay. I guess I don't have to, like, because I'm going to assurance every time. But it just yeah, you could, healing, which yeah, is Yeah, if nice. you're just doing assurance, then you can just roll the healing directly. Um, oh, you want. wow, 15. <laughs> so, yeah, 15 points of healing to tell I'm Talia's looking just, really good, not off. perfect, yeah. but, but looking for, a lot better. Uh, Felix, I just... Seven points for Felix. <laughs> right, seven for Felix. You <laughs> managed to get some of his minute. wounds bound, but uh, a lot of the sort of bludgeoning things need a little bit more uh, treatment. It's got a little bit of swelling. Myself. For even for worse, yourself. for a four, four <laughs> for me. Yeah, the downside so of assurance is you're never going to crit, so you're never going to get that extra That's true. healing, but. Right. So 30 minutes have passed, it's like 11.10. I do want one well, HP. <laughs> well, I mean, no, go focus on y'all first. I'm fine. I'll be fine. Uh, while this is happening, I want to pull out <laughs> Zalara's the deck, the Harrow deck, because I'm curious, is this what the bad thing is that she was expecting? This unrest? There, 13 for Felix. It's a Thank little you. heftier. 13. So you, you call upon Zalara? Um, yeah. See, I'm back at home. And for myself, 13, mm -hmm. unlucky number 13. Zalara's ghostly form uh, appears at the table in the fourth seat. Um, um, uh, you had a question for me? Uh, yes, I was wondering if this... Uh, you saw that there was something terrible coming. Something we were... You were worried about for us. Is this what... As Regan's bandaging up Felix, is this the sort of thing that we should be worrying about? This rioting? Is this something we can tame? She seems thoughtful, kind of floating there uh, above the chair. Um, you notice that she doesn't actually have legs. Uh, she's kind of got the like, sort of ghostly mm -hmm. um, trends, uh, like Casper-esque uh, sort of bottom half. Um, and she like puts a, puts a finger to her chin and mm. it certainly does seem related to your destiny. I can't say for certain whether or not you'll be able to change anything here, but it certainly does seem like that, doesn't it? As long as what we're doing is actually of use. Just want to make sure we're actually toward the correct goal. I sense that the Harrow reading still has some meaning left to convey. Whatever its intentions are have not been fully realized, if that makes sense. I don't feel it would be of value to do an additional reading at this time. Alright. It, it does make sense. The city 
seems unsettled. Even like day, might day to day, moment to moment, people don't know what what the future holds. And I guess in that, it's our chance to help make it better. Zalara nods. It is a matter of following your heart to the right path. The cards can guide you, yes, but they cannot... She... She pauses. Prophecy is... dangerous thing to put too much stock into. And she kind of looks down at her at her arm and like she is ghostly and translucent and like looks at kind of turns her arm both ways to sort of reflect on her own current form. I guess we just do the best we can. Reagan, will you be joining us to go to the Citadel? Thank you again for the oh, banter. I guess I have to, even though I keep getting knocked in the face and burned and all this stuff. I'm pretty sure that you two are going to die if I don't keep following you around and healing you. <laughs> so yes, I will come with you. I do appreciate not dying. And if there's a form to fill out to make this a work study, it will totally get you some work. <laughs> I appreciate it. But now we I... can ask. <laughs> Doesn't hurt to ask. Well, depending on who you ask. I suppose with you being part of the town guard and all that might be. Well, they're in lockdown right now, but maybe it's something we can think about later. Or an internship here at the Script and Scrim Shop. Mm, we'll think about that one as well. <laughs> Maybe a bit longer. <laughs> exactly. Does an internship entail? Uh, it needs to become a business shop. again first, and maybe we can think about that. You managed oh. to run breakfast. That worked. That Turns did. out you can still get decent pastries in this city. Well, thank you, Solara, for your input. Suppose we soldier on. Hey, you guys open? You hear oh, a knocking there. at the door and a voice. <laughs> I'll be over here. If you want to get that? <laughs> a bandaged um, Felix uh, gets up and makes makes his way to the door. Antolios will also stand up, but will just stay where he's at. But... I just want to sit. Oh, I'm sitting. Zalara here. will. Well, yes. Fade. We'll also quickly put the cards away as he's standing up. Kind of. That's what's keeping him there. Um, Felix, like I'm going to open the door to answer it, but not necessarily let them in. Okay. Um, to say, like, uh, we're here. Um, I'm I'm here, but we're not really set up for 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 dinner at the moment. Uh, no. The city's been been a bit wild uh, sure can i at least get like a drink or something man i've had a rough day it, you see uh, at the door is a uh rather drunk looking uh Parisian man um dark skin kind of muddied face he's got a lot of dirt on him doesn't look like he's showered in maybe a few days Oof. um he's wearing a uh what looks like a Corvosan guard uniform um, that itself looks pretty dirty and, and dented uh, or like the, the armor that he's wearing is, is a bit dented I, I think um, upon seeing that the, the, the poor guy is a member of the Corvosan guard um, Felix will at least like, please, please come on in and take a seat. Um, I don't really have any any food prepared. 
you can at least get a glass of water and and a chance to catch catch your breath uh, before water, heading back out I, there. I don't I don't need water. I need I need a beer, please, man. <laughs> um, Did I get beer? I, I don't even like this is a, a realistic thing. The bar is, is still in the process process of becoming a bar again. Um, you did get uh, some amount of yeah. I, w- I would say maybe you have like a keg of beer currently. <sighs> if you stick around long enough to get to drinking time, we'll talk about the beer. But just sit down and have a glass of water at least. <sighs> Not after four p.m. Yet. He kind of looks over his shoulder. Yeah, man, that's that's fine. Sure. And he kind of stumbles in behind you. And he looks over at Tullios and uh, uh, ne- ne- never mind. And he turns around and s- stumbles out the door. <laughs> I was going to say, does wow. I don't happen to recognize him. I'm sure there are many guards. There's a fairly good chance that even if he was employed as a guard, <laughs> I wouldn't recognize him. Go ahead and give me a. Um, I would. I would accept a firefighting lore or society. Okay. I like firefighting lore. I think they're similar, but I like that one. Oh, they're the same. It's even better. Uh, private roll. Blind roll. There we go. Question marks for you. Okay. Um, yeah, you would recognize this guy. Um, let's see. Yeah, he, this guy was, or is, a a rather well-liked, um, watch sergeant. Um, his name is Grau Soldado. Um, you don't, I guess, you probably don't know much about him personally. You know, he somewhat... I guess recently came into the guard, mm-hmm. um, but he he rose ranks pretty quickly. He's apparently a pretty good sword fighter. Um, he's like well trained, and he's very drunk. Yeah, he is. He is very drunk right now. Shit, very shit faced. And you don't you don't think he would know you? Um, but sure, I mean. Yeah. He seemed to see you. He like looked down at your uniform and then immediately kind of turned around and stumbled out. Uh, Felix won't try to stop him, but um, we'll sort of wave as he's departing. I hope you can get somewhere safe. I think I'm just gonna let him go. Yeah, it does not seem good at the moment. Like. Okay. To be drunk at yeah. this hour, you've been working at it. You watch him kind of stumble, hobble out of the bar, walks a few steps, and then falls prone in the street. Mm. With a thud. I can barely see that happen from my angle. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Reagan, I can't see it at all. Yes. I think he collapsed outside. Do you mind? Oh, dear. <laughs> and I will now go outside to take a look yeah. at the prone and unconscious. Is he actually drunk or is there something wrong with him? Mm, you can you can smell the beer on him. Okay, okay. So he's just entirely intoxicated. Grand. He's a higher rank than I am, correct? Yes. Watch Sergeant? Okay. Yep. Let's get him inside. Indeed. Um, some water and then time will probably do do an, an amount of good. Yeah. So I'll pick him up. I don't know if Reagan wants to help or if just wants to look him over while I'm carrying, like dragging him inside, but we'll. <laughs> You're very strong. I'll allow you to carry. Okay. I'll allow it. <laughs> if I stare at him. <laughs> as long as you can get a good look at him is the big thing. So what a strange man. Okay, so you you're carrying him inside. Yeah, I'm just kind of dragging him. I've got arms under the under his armpits and just hauling Let's him in. This. No more. <laughs> Reagan closes the door behind. 
And Too many open we'll doors. Gently lay him out on the floor. You can take a look and see what's ailing him. And if ale is the cure that is necessary here. Yes. <laughs> is he simply, he's simply very drunk? It's not like I do about very drunk. Uh, yeah, go ahead and give me a medicine check. Give him the old medicine. I'm sure it's not like shiver or something. Oh, a 15. Um, yeah, it's pretty obvious that he's drunk. He's not even, he's not fully unconscious even right now. He's just, he's just really out of it. He's oh like boy. mumbling to himself right now. We should get him some water. And make Thank sure to put him that. in the recovery position <laughs> on his side. Right. Yeah, so he doesn't. Felix went and got drown. some water as you were bringing <laughs> bringing this poor drunk dude in. Um, and I there's a there's a uh, wooden bench over over to the at the other table that will probably be perfect for him to lay on his side and have a moment to to recover. Okay, so yeah, you lead him to the Oops. corner table and uh, lay him down on the bench. You probably move the table out of the way a bit. Um, so that there's room uh, and bring him a glass of water and <laughs> force it on him uh, he, he gulps it down and then <coughs> it kind of spits spits some of it out but keeps drinking good this is conscious sprinkle a little salt in it for electrolytes <laughs> there we go I've taken care of enough drunk people in my day <laughs> I go to the academy everyone's getting wasted <laughs> the Academy's parties are uh, something else. Yes. Um, I have been. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> it's been some years, but I have been. They get wild. Um, he he kind of calms down a bit. Um, uh, uh, thanks. Uh, sorry about that. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, what are we gonna do, man? About uh, what? King. What's even the point anymore? There's still a monarch. And you still have a job. I don't have a job, man. I, I've given all that up. Did you... <laughs> I can't quit? have uh, quit, leave. Uh, it's all the same thing. It's it's really not. You do actually need to give notice usually on these circumstances. Um, regardless, they'll, they'll find out. I hear a bunch of people are leaving anyway. Like, the queen is still going to take care of the city. Um, it's sad that the, the the that we lost the king for sure, but um, it's folks like yourself that help help hold this place together. You don't understand. It's not. It's not just the king. It's I even lost her. I, I don't. I don't even. I don't even think I could go on anymore. Oh. Lost her? Yeah, who's her? The, the, the love of my life. <laughs> I can't believe I lost her to him. I'm so stupid. <laughs> Thought the duel would be a fucking cool idea <laughs> I I can I slap him I would like to slap him <laughs> yes. yeah, this is, I, just this is too personal for <laughs> Reagan there's, there's just this moment of just like watching him sob <laughs> and just right across the face yep you see slap if him can sober him up a bit <laughs> yeah, what would you do that for because you need to make sense, and sometimes pain will help with that. 
he kind of pulls himself up to like a, a seated position. Um, <laughs> Goes upside down first. <laughs> As it's I a complicated the bench. Icon. Uh, <laughs> Uh, sorry, I'm thinking about what he was going to say. Um, mm. uh, there's just no point. I, the queen's probably not going to stick around. She doesn't know how to rule a city. Like, and, and what's the point of it? I but what am I supposed to do without Sabina? Sabina. Wait. <laughs> Your former Uncle. significant other was Savina? Sabina with a B? Yeah, with a B. There are too there are either too many people named this name. No, this ship has just gotten so complicated, oh my god. Seriously. This is not part of my fan fictions. <laughs> What happens when can canon and fan fiction collide? Ooh. I'll be but <laughs> <laughs> as Rankin is going over to rewrite. Yeah, and I'm gonna fiction. consult my books. <laughs> I'll be back. <laughs> okay, so just to be understand, just so that I understand you clearly, your worry is Sabina has been taken by whom? She we saw her this morning. <laughs> She's. I just couldn't win her over, man. No matter what I did. Okay, I, wait. I don't get it. <laughs> so when you say love of your life, were you actually dating or married? Or were you just attempting to get with someone you thought was the love of your life. And Reagan says that. Hundred <laughs> <laughs> percent like, in character. Wait a minute. <laughs> Back this up a sec. Specify the nature of this relationship for me. We uh, we we didn't get married yet, but uh, I was gonna propose propose to her. And. <laughs> and you were dating or not we went to the same school I just I'm going to slap him me. a second time <laughs> I'm coming over here <laughs> you've ruined the fan fiction now nope the fan fiction is still on <laughs> the ship exists we are keeping it upright <laughs> I'll be at this table yeah I'm over here now <laughs> you, you slap him? Uh, I actually, yeah, time. I do actually slap him a second time. Uh, you're just you like him. <laughs> and he, he gets up. Can uh, I push him back down into the seat? <laughs> uh, you could try, uh, but it is time for initiative. Oh, Ooh, okay. Oh. Fight. <laughs> um, fight athletics as I man. attempt to push him back down? <laughs> sure, I would, I would allow athletics here. All right. For initiative, if you wish. A natural one. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, I still got one. less than you. <laughs> it just whooshed at me. So yeah, natural That's one amazing. for an 11. Uh, we just need Felix's. It's like, how many times None can we slap someone? For him to get up and start running, apparently. <laughs> How many times can we slap someone before he decides to fight us? <laughs> twice. Let's the play. answer is twice. All right. So <laughs> this guy, he he gets up from the bench and he like you you're try, you're going to try and like push him down, but he he just like swings at you with his fist. Um, We're right. all dueling. Uh, uh, that's not quite right. Hold on, the stat block is messed up. Fixing, correcting the details. Uh, that should be fours because it's a fist. Uh, and that's bludgeoning. Okay. Bunch of his crit on me twice in a row or something, and then just. Ah, we'll the door. see. We'll see. 
Uh, he's he's pretty <laughs> drunk. Um, that does help. So rolls first punch is an eleven, which is it's a miss, miss, nearly critical yeah. miss. Second attack is a sixteen, also a miss. Is he just kind of lunges his fists at you? And his third action, he's gonna like reach for his back and draw his longsword, which you can see is Whoa. is shimmering. Um, can I reactive strike on that? You can, yeah. I can it's reactive strike him action. drawing, so yeah, yep. I will do so. And I'm just gonna reach out and try and punch him again. So this time, <laughs> actually punch him instead of slap him. Uh, so let's target him with an unarmed strike. Um, a 27 to hit. That is a crit. Uh, roll critical damage. Okay. As we, I mean, do okay damage, 13 points of bludgeoning as we, you know, try to push him down as he pushes back, just sock him in the face. <laughs> <laughs> um, does crit, uh, uh, what a reactive strike. Uh, it disrupts movement or disrupt, oh, it disrupts um, it does, res it does disrupt, uh, re uh, manipulate actions, so. Okay, so yeah, he, he's like trying to draw his long sword and you, you punch him like right in the gut. Um, and he releases the grasp, and the longsword doesn't come fully out of the um, out of the sheath. Uh, and it's your turn, Tilius, with an eleven, okay. and Felix with a ten, and then Reagan with an eight. Uh, action one <laughs> is going to be. I'm going to grab him. <laughs> I'm going to grapple. So we'll just do an athletics check on him. An uh, eighteen to grapple. Uh, that is against Fort DC. That is a failure. Um, okay. You try to grab him, but he struggles against you and, and pushes back. All right, then I will draw my... I'm actually going to draw this whip that I recovered from... No, I will not. <laughs> As I remember where I recovered that whip from, <laughs> I will draw the fire axe instead. Just to have <laughs> something in one hand, and then we'll uh, go into a dueling parry. To... Uh just be in a defensive stance ready for him to move again okay just try to block him off yeah uh felix i'm gonna try to talk him down a bit with distracting flattery um to try to like get him to just ratchet down from wanting to outright kill us to maybe a little bit more of a you know the drunken stupor that we we started with um and just be like like I do like like I understand that you're 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 uh like like beset with with at, at the at the loss of the love of your life, but it's not worth losing your life over, and certainly not worth uh, like being drunk around the city. You can you can pull yourself together. You're better than this. Okay, so normally distracting flattery is a reaction at the moment that the their attitude changes. Um, so the normal time to do this would be like right before com or like right as combat was going to start. You could you could do it then, but I'll allow it here. Um, so go ahead and give me the deception check. Uh, and this is against their will DC. Uh, you get the sense that he doesn't even hear you. <laughs> he is he seems to have gone like briefly blind with anger. As he is like trying to <laughs> throw fists at Tolios. Um and I'll well, count that as, it, as an action. Yeah, it was worth a shot. Um seeing that not work, um, I think um I think I would I would ju then just try to, to to daze him uh with uh I don't know. Whatever trinkets uh, Felix can quickly grab. Probably like the glass of water. Splash it in his face. All right. <laughs> Pocket sand. Pocket sand. And roll days. Uh, he fails because he is currently uh, drunk. So go ahead and roll damage. Um, stun is only on crit fail. Okay. I believe that's correct. Yes. So you can roll the non-lethal damage then. Uh, that is three points. Okay, yeah, you see him kind of wince as the water splashes over him. Uh, Reagan. Maybe the cup, too. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> I'm going to 
throwing stuff. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna use. She's gonna just start chucking stuff as well, uh, using <laughs> telekinetic projectile. I don't know what is one bulk or less than thirty feet. Maybe there's a mug or a beer stein or something. I'm sure, there's plenty over gonna... here on the bar. Yeah. Throw sure, that. Yeah. <laughs> see if that <laughs> kind of works out. Let's see. All right, go uh, for I it. I have to do a attack. Yeah, I think you can. Is if you've got them targeted, damage? you can click one of those three bludgeoning, piercing, or slashing. I would then click uh, the attack. Attack. Yeah. Yep. Ba, 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 ba. Oh dear! It oh. just sails off <laughs> against the wall. Uh, yeah. It clatters it's against the wall. It's a warning shot. <laughs> we are doing great with these rolls. She's gonna kind of just warming up. Go over here. Back be like, stop this! You're being ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Talios, he's going to try to grab you. Okay. Uh, as his first action. As an athletics check against your uh, Fort DC, so 23. That will succeed. Against your 17, that succeeds, so you're grabbed. Mm -hmm. um, and I've never liked you anyway, Von Carlo. <clears throat> And he will try and punch you in the in the chest. Uh, that is an eleven, which will miss, and he'll try again. Uh, eleven, <laughs> which will also miss. All right. So he's got you grabbed, but he's not able to. He's he's punching you, but you're not. He's not able to like actually cause any impact. His punches are very weak. That's fine. That's fine. At least I've got him here. Um, I guess the first action I'll do then is to. Uh, escape so i will just try and force my way out with an unarmed strike i think that's better than yes uh 22 hit uh that would be oh it's against uh oh i guess it'd be against their um athletics dc uh which is a success so you okay. escape yes so then we are no longer grabbed um, we will then turn around and <laughs> <laughs> so tempted just do the same to him. <laughs> just grapple off. Um, oh, hey, I Turtle think, Porch is in the chat. I think I may actually do that. I think we're going to grapple off. All right. <laughs> you're going to try and grapple him back. We're, we're going to grapple him. Uh, <laughs> so I think this is at a minus four for... MAP. All right. Yep, that should be minus four. Uh, cause, yeah, it's agile. Uh, Nineteen. Ugh. Mm, I don't think it's Nineteen. Do it. Just miss. Just oh. barely. Then we'll go back into our uh, defensive stance. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Super effective round. Woo. <laughs> very, very effective. <laughs> Felix, your turn. <laughs> Gosh, this is. Too many, too many drunks in this bar have gotten just a bit violent. This is, this is uh, reminiscent of, of uh, a more populous time. <laughs> um, I think I'll get um, courageous anthem up with lingering composition. All right. Since it's clear this is the chaos that we're getting into. Um. So, yeah, I'm realizing the weapon that feel like uh, I've got drawn is is a kukri, and I'm not really sure that I want to. Well, I assume you don't have a weapon party. drawn currently, because uh, you guys were just hanging out talking. So, so I'll spend an action to draw draw the whip. Okay. Um, and that that plus the the spell casting. Okay, so I need a performance three, check for yeah. lingering composition then. To see how long it lasts, but otherwise, everyone gets courageous. Start humming or whistling, whistling a little tune. Are you doing the, the lingering composition? Yeah, I'm trying to find the button. Forgive me. There's just too many of them. Uh, just a skill check under performance. Uh, 
てきてるっていう。SDC's chart back. That looks like a success.、Uh, 24. A、uh, little for you guys. 62.、Uh, so that's 16 is the DC. So succeeds, but not critically. So three rounds.、Uh, and then you have a third action.、Um, you can for my third action,、dish. yeah. I'll、uh, strike out with the whip.、Um, see if I can't, can't hit him. Okay. Hey, maybe. 20 will、That's、hit.、Fun. Roll the damage.、Uh, five points of slashing damage as you crack the whip at him. Reagan. He like winces in pain, but the two of them are still <laughs> kind of scuffling here. I'm gonna keep throwing cups. <laughs> Because it's, it's like, I guess I don't want to shock、cups. this guy. He just seems like a, he doesn't seem horrible, but just a miserable person. More cups will be thrown. Will they hit? Let's find <laughs> out. Maybe not. It's a 12. Uh, that is a 12. That is going to miss. <laughs> They keep hitting the wall. She's like, You do have、oh. hero points or hero points. I know,、rather. but. All right. Let's save it. It seems like a weird, a、yeah. silly <laughs> thing to. The cups are hitting the wall. It does not、him. seem like this should be as difficult as it is. And yet somehow we are just whiffing、she's... on everything. Yeah, and、she's... I totally get not wanting to do anything. <laughs> she's got a puffy tail.、No, she's yeah, still... not happy. <laughs> this guy just seems. Ridiculous. <laughs> I really don't want to hurt him. It's, this is just kind of sad, but he's getting violent, so. Like, I don't really have a one. Yeah, yeah you have one <laughs> action left. I do. <laughs> I'm just gonna <laughs> step around. Stop. Okay, you just kind of <laughs> start moving around <laughs>、yeah. a little bit. Step away a little, like, a little bit more. Stop. She's、anxiously. finding more cups. She's like, looking,、oh, okay, like、yeah. can I get a bigger cup? Like, <laughs> these cups are not big enough. They're not hitting them. So、she's on the hunt. Stay away from the glassware. <laughs> Wooden mugs only. Okay,、uh, okay. He's gonna reach over for another swing.、Uh, 15 is a miss. <laughs>、mm -hmm. A second swing. <laughs> Nine is a miss. <laughs> yeah. A critical miss, actually. Nothing else.、Um, It's fine. Wait, is this still wrong? What happened? Yeah.、Uh. The attack mod. Oh, oh, I see. Of course. The attack modifier is down because he's sick、uh, from being drunk.、Uh, that could have hit if that was the first roll, but a 16 is going to miss as well. So he's just slugging at you. Hey, stop moving! <laughs> <laughs> You're standing Literally still. just standing still, like <laughs> waiting for him to come at me, and he's just swinging at air. Just like, okay.、Um, time to go in for another grapple. We're going to hug him. <laughs> We're gonna make this work. Uh, do, 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 uh, 21? <laughs> There we go. That's a success. You, you grab hold of them. Okay. Uh, so action two, then we will, uh, kind of smack them with. I, I will do this on non lethal. So I can, I'm declaring this a non lethal attack, which is a negative two penalty, I think, since it's a. Yep. Normally, leave the weapon. You're not gonna <laughs> hack his neck with the axe. We are trying to just kind of knock him out, so we're using the butt of the axe, I think. Minus two circumstance, add that. It's on. Roll. Uh, 20 does hit? That will hit, yep. Okay. And though it's technically slashing, I'll, I'll treat it as bludgeoning. Yeah, it, more bludgeoning, so yeah, 10、yeah. points of bludgeoning damage there. Okay. <laughs> you, you kind of whack him in the neck. Um, as, as you've got him grabbed there. Oh, I should have had the grabbed condition moves.、Um, and, and he starts sobbing. <laughs> Just relax. Sit down. That's and, it. Okay, we're gonna, yeah. We're gonna go back as, kind of, as you、yeah. say that. He, he just. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. And you kind of like. Push him back onto the seat and he, he just like plays back. That is combat. Is he unconscious and breathing? <laughs> Or is he just. He, 
breathing. That's he a is sad man. Calm down. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. I, I didn't mean to take it out on you. <laughs> it's just my emotions. Uh, I don't know what to do. How old are you, kid? Uh, 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 46? <laughs> right. You need to find somebody to talk to that's not me. But in the meantime... I don't think Sabina was interested in you. Just a hunch. You can probably find someone else. You're popular when you're not drunk and covered in shit. But... I've already fucked up so much. I can't go back to the guard now. Not after everything I said to the field marshal. Oh, jeez. <laughs> what did you say to the field marshal? Uh, I, I was drunk at the time, I swear. But That's not a defense, asshole. That's hard to believe. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, it is I an explanation, but yeah. Tired. We had to do the shift all yesterday. I don't think I can keep up with this anymore. I'm just... I'm just gonna sleep. And he slams his head on the table. Okay. Uh... <laughs> and he is Do we have any more of those pillows, Felix? <laughs> I don't know if we've got any not, left over from when the kids were here. Not not the way I wanted to get my first uh first first um visitor to the inn, but you know He didn't you even find get anything. To get. Uh does he happen to have like a gold pouch on him? Uh yeah, you you like look at his side where, where people would normally keep their, their pouches of stuff and yeah, you spot a little coin pouch there. How much is a night normally? Uh, at an inn? Yeah, I mean, I don't know how much Felix is charging. Five gold. <laughs> <laughs> Proper going and rate. Ten, ten uh, let gold. Me, let me check the normal going rate. Um, I'm guessing two silver, but that is literally just off the top of my head. Uh, one silver is lodging in a bed for one. A private room, which most of these would be... Uh, so, yeah, you could probably charge between one and eight silver. Um... I think it'll be on the higher side for not only the bed, but services rendered. Fair, fair. <laughs> also, there's those two mugs that have to be replaced. <laughs> and, the, and, the, and the drinkware. Um, but I think I think this, this poor person needs to sleep off some of their decisions. Yeah, so how much is fair? I think we'll, we'll go for, for like... For the eight silver, um, eight silver. and and like and like, ho hopefully that'll cover uh, the damages as well as uh, pay for the bed. Fair. Does he have eight silver in this coin purse? Yeah, yeah. Okay. You you fish out eight silver shields um, from what's available in his coin purse and yeah, pass it over to Felix. Seems reasonable, and then I'll <laughs> get to work hauling for one his bed ass. and drinkware <laughs> and. <laughs> Activities. <laughs> and, act activities and fun that sounds Ooh, the fun we had <laughs> yes uh, yeah i'll haul his ass to a bed whichever room you'd like him to inhabit and he can sleep it off there i assume there's one up there that has been set up for guests Grawl? yes you that was you his name three rooms upstairs yeah that are not yours uh, yes, uh, a growl growl soldado g-r-a-u soldado S O L D A D O. Thank you. I had it wrong. I think we may go have words with some folks about him. So yeah, I assume you you take him upstairs yeah. to a bed. I'll just yeah. haul, haul him to wherever. Yeah. I know I know the guard needs everyone it can right now, but 
this if this is a reflection of the state of things, I understand how the city needs our help. Everyone's incompetent. And tired. And, and like tired. hanging their emotions on someone else to a degree that really shouldn't happen. And in love with Sabina. It's an interesting twist that everyone seems to have. <laughs> I'm wondering if we missed something. Perhaps she was a nicer person than we thought. I don't know. She seemed I fine. didn't think she was mean. She was I didn't think she was nice. mean, but if everyone else is into her, you start to wonder why you're not. Well, you know, Maybe I've you been... <laughs> I am in the academy... And School. let me tell you, sometimes if you laugh a little too much, a uh, guy <laughs> thinks that he's going to marry you. And that's why you should never laugh and find nothing funny. So, I know these types. <laughs> never smile, never laugh, never look at them, never make eye contact. Just leave. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's a reason that I'd rather keep Lizzie at home for the rest of her life, but mm. we'll that's a terrible idea. But I understand. <laughs> well, the last time she left home on her own, she got kidnapped. So it's true, I think and I'm heavily very well drugged. justified at this point. So I understand. Normally, normally the defense here is that the city can't be that bad, but no, actually, the city is is in fact that bad. At least it is right now. I'm actually a little nervous. Um, is so, our, once we've gotten him settled in, should we go <laughs> to the Citadel? Are we going to leave him here? I don't alone? necessarily... I would not leave that person in my bar unattended. Yeah, that's an issue. Should Can we... We lock the door from the outside, perhaps, so that he can't leave. Is well, that's actually probably worse. That is, I think. <laughs> yeah, let's we, let's not imprison. Him. Uh, yeah, false imprisonment is <laughs> yeah, but not ideal in this nothing. case. Well, this, this is more of a case where I I'm I would monitor to make sure that my bar remains intact, and at some point he wakes up and gets a decent meal and maybe thinks about some of the. Some of the moments we all just shared. For what it's <laughs> worth, you think he'll probably be asleep for a few hours? Okay. He does need to sleep on whatever he was on off. Um, it, I mean, considering how far we really have to go, it's up to you if you want to come leave him or not. I imagine we'd be back well before he'd wake up. It's, what, a 15, 20 minute walk there? I think it's more like a 10 minute walk. <laughs> I'm exaggerating. I'm not yeah. sure. So <laughs> I, I think for that, Felix would lock the door, but I'll, I'll, um, I'll unlock it when I get back. Well, um, lock the just, bottom door, but don't lock him in. Necessarily. Yeah. Like the bar needs to be closed up. Yeah. Leave a <laughs> note on the door. Be like, hey, we'll be back at 4 p.m. Wait, what time is it? Don't. I'm also disconnecting the kid. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Do not leave alcohol. Lock all the alcohol. Yeah, up. the liquor cabinet is, is firmly yeah. locked. The keg is 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 yes. has had the 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 hose pulled. Man needs to sober up. Get water. I'll lock the kitchen so he can't like get in there and truly destroy the place. All right. Yeah. You you close everything up. <laughs> yeah. All right. So that takes like five minutes. <laughs> Double check everything. Mm -hmm. well, we can at least let the guard, uh, let the folks at the Citadel know we, that we know where at least one, one person is. Yeah, maybe they can fetch him. Okay, but now we'll head to the Citadel. Now that we're all feeling fine and dandy. <laughs> All right, you make your way out the front door. Felix locks oh, up. Let me sheath my axe again. <laughs> feel weird. Feel felt weird drawing on a member of the guard, but I'm like, <laughs> some of my stuff wor only works with a weapon in hand. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Choices. It's a problem well, with you your abilities. A, you can get a gauntlet. I could get a gauntlet. Um, in fact. At some points, I do want to do some shopping, but it doesn't need to be right now. Weren't we 
going to go shopping? Was it off oh, screen? Yes, uh, <laughs> we never did do you that. You haven't actually <laughs> gone shopping yet. We continued exactly from where we were. <laughs> but look what's on the way. A shopping area. <laughs> you know, there is the Gilded uh, Night Pawn. In general is Jason Peters. ready for shopping? <laughs> sure. <laughs> if, if you guys know what you want. I don't. I'm not ready for shopping. I have two <laughs> thoughts that just came to mind immediately. Um, gauntlet bow. Just because that's fun. <laughs> it's a gauntlet that has like a crossbow built into it. Um, but also healing potions. I could feels like we could use a few of those to have on hand. So I have we're not one at constantly least. making Reagan uh, keep us alive. <laughs> Oh, but that's my sole purpose in this campaign. <laughs> but it doesn't have to be. That's what I'm saying. Yes, I could be an evil wizard. Um, so you make your way over to the, the Gilded Knight um, and do some shopping. Uh, we can we can handle that off screen. If there's specific things that you know you want um, that are easily available, like healing potions, you can go ahead and buy those now. But okay. uh, I'll... I'll I'll let you have bought them uh, in between sessions. It's fine. Um, and then afterwards, uh, after doing some stocking up uh, on some gear, you make your way over to the Citadel. Is that correct? That would be my plan. Indeed. Yes. Okay. Um, so we'll say this is like an hour later then never been here before. Now we're in five minutes later, so it's now noon 30. Um, and you make your way to the uh, the entrance of the Citadel. Uh, tell you, as you're, you're very familiar with uh, Citadel Volshenik, uh, the headquarters of the guard, the main garrison um, of the city. Um, it consists of one major uh, central tower. Um, go to the map here. Uh, yeah, it's one major central tower in the middle. Um, and then it's got a like ring of walls around it uh, where there are five other um, sort of smaller towers mm -hmm. um, that all sit on this like little peninsula that overlooks the bay um, of the Jagari River. Uh, and enclosed in that space is like a kind of a practice field um, where the guard usually does their training and exercises and announcements and stuff like that. Um, but the tower itself, uh, I forget how many floors it is, but it's a couple floors. Um, and consists of uh, barracks for guards who wish to live there, um, as well as... Uh, offices for various um, leadership positions like the field marshal. Um, so you, you make your way to the entry and you see it's uh, I mean it's more heavily guarded than usual um, but you, you've been here the last few days you, you know that, that it's, it's not that unusual for you right now. Um, and uh, the guards at the front um, uh, hail um, state your business uh, are these two civilians to enter? Uh, yes, they're with me. They We've come with a missive from the Queen, actually. From the Queen? Um, mind if I... And he holds out a hand to see. <laughs> I... Yeah, gesture for Felix to hold it forward. Felix will make with the, the fancy note. Ah, okay. You have... Um, these two are the ones that the messenger spoke of. Um, this all checks out. Um, all right, you'll want to head up to Miss um, Croft's office. Um, she's up on the third floor. I assume you know Very where good. that is, and you would. <laughs> yeah, I will make our way over. Okay, so make your way into the inside. Sorry, I keep needing to clear my throat to that. Um, make your way inside and uh, up the stairs of the tower. Um, you see, uh, as you're walking through, you see a number of guards um, in various states of fatigue, worn out, um, 
many are like sleeping in their armor uh, on the floor. Um, some are bandaging up injuries, others are trying to hurriedly scarf down simple meals to before they go out on patrol again. Um, it is also, though it feels a lot busier than normal, uh, it does feel a bit empty at the same time. Um, like there's not as many people here um, as, as you would normally expect. A lot of the, uh, maybe because they're all out on patrol, um, but a lot of the sort of guard positions inside the building are currently not staffed. Um, and yeah, you make your way up the stairs, uh, find your way over to uh, the field marshal's room, uh, which you would normally expect to have um, a, a, a door guard, um, but none is present, um, just a big heavy stone door. Well, if there's no guard to announce us all, knock loudly and then wait for an answer oh is someone um and you hear the, some shuffling inside and the door cracks open um and a woman appears before you I say appears like she magically appeared she's just um, faint <laughs> <laughs> But uh, there's one Field Marshal Cresta Croft. Okay. Um, slightly different art than I showed you last time, but she has a lot of different <laughs> art pieces, apparently. Um, she has fairly plain brown hair. She seems rather young for the position. Um, if you were expecting someone uh, in their like 40s, she looks like she's maybe in her like late 20s. Um, oh, she is wearing uh, uh, plate armor, which is like red, like crimson plate armor, um, and she's definitely got some bags under her eyes right now. Um, oh, I thought you were the priest. Um, uh, you might be. Uh, you're um, from the fire team, right? I I'm here escorting as well. These. Uh, citizens uh, at the Queen's command. And uh, you were looking for a priest? I don't think we saw any on the way in, but... Oh, one of the Abadar priests has been coming over to remove some of this fatigue, she says wearily. Mm. Um, oh, sorry, you must be the ones that the Queen sent to me, right? Yes, ma'am. Tullius Koldar. And he these looks are, smiling. Yeah. And <laughs> she looks at <laughs> Reagan. <laughs> Hi. I'm from the Academy. I'm a student. <laughs> Long pause. My name is Reagan. <laughs> <laughs> She's like the whole time just staring like Looking. Is she not answering on purpose, or is <laughs> yeah, she's just <laughs> <laughs> just not, hasn't gotten there yet? <laughs> hasn't gotten there. She's like, oh, how do you introduce yourself to people? Uh, a fun fact about me ah. is, <laughs> <laughs> ah, well, well met. Um, I'm the Field Marshal Cressida Croft. Um, uh, please come on in and close the door behind you. Um. And as she makes her way back to her desk and sits down uh, with kind of like a heavy sigh, um, I'm honestly surprised that the queen actually sent people over. That, though, you're not who I expected. Um, you were expecting a priest, apparently, so. Oh, yes. I mean, aside from that, though, <laughs> she says with a, a bit of a laugh. Um, when the message said heroes were being sent along, I sort of expected uh, heavy plate mail and uh, magical swords and such, but... Uh, no, ma'am, just regular heroes, I suppose. Yes, that would be a reasonable assumption, but unfortunately <laughs> untrue. 
I... Heroes are the people who show up in the moment. Yeah, too true, she says with a smile. Um... And then she kind of like puts an elbow on the desk and a hand uh, or like sets her uh, her chin in, her, in the palm of her hand. Uh, and you guys really want to help? It's the duty. The city really does seem to need it. And we've seen evidence of that repeatedly, even on our way over here. I have nothing yeah. better to do. <laughs> the f dripping with sarcasm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I suppose we all have our reasons, <laughs> she says, uh, uh, glancing at Reagan and then back to... Um, to Felix um, well I mean you you've clearly been on the streets um, you know what it's like out there it's honestly just breaking my heart to see Corvosa tear itself apart like this she says looking down at the table so honestly every bit of aid that we can get from you honestly uh, Every single last drop of it helps. Uh, if you're willing, I'd love to retain your services. Um, do you charge much, or...? I look at the other two. Specifically, I think I look at Felix first as the business person here. You would notice, is... Tully, that she's not even like... She seems to be kind of like addressing... Reagan and uh, Felix. Okay, she hasn't so yeah. totally that she's writing me off. That's fine. Yeah, she she has kind of assumed that you're yeah. just. Uh, I mean, she knows that you're part of the fire team, but she you weren't on the missive. Uh, she's assumed that was cooperation if necessary. But yeah, I mean, she just assumes that you're an if employee, necessary. like an, yeah. <laughs> that you are employed. Uh, That's true. Reagan turns to Felix and whispers, "I didn't know we could ask for money." <laughs> do I the, do, the, do I know like generally speaking the going rate for for getting a task of undefined nature and violence accomplished in this city? Uh you you have no idea. <laughs> um I think I'll say we did not expect to suddenly step into the role of a, of, of hero, uh, and would ask only for what is customary to this kind of work. Um, but we should probably also understand what exactly you want us to do. Um, we're probably uh, like, at least for myself as a barkeep, poor, poorly suited to go wandering the streets trying to bring, um, like, like put down riots, but. Um, if there's more well challenging uh, in a different way work maybe we can we can definitely help out okay. that's honestly exactly the kind of work I was hoping someone outside the guard would be able to handle uh, truth is I've got a, a bit of a nasty one um, and uh, Yes, uh, of course. You, you'll, I uh, will make sure that you're compensated as fairly as possible for your services. Um, and well, he sighs again and sits back. It's no secret that the guards under a lot of stress right now, and Corvosa's honestly got enough troubles without. Uh, as it is, without my own guards losing their way. Um, as tough as it is to say, a lot of them have deserted their posts and more are currently concerned about their friends and family than the city. Which is totally fair, I, I, I get it, but some of them are really just using this whole thing as an excuse to... Well enrich themselves there's 
one man in particular that I need some help dealing with. Um, he's a watch captain, um, fairly high ranked. Uh, he's a man by the name of Van Kaskerkin. Um, Varric? Van Kaskerkin. Varric, you said? Uh, yeah. He is. He rings a bell. Uh, yeah, you've probably met him at least once or twice. He's been a bit of a rising star lately. Um, but worse than being just a lone deserter, he's convinced a group of his fellow guards that, uh, the Queen's got it out for the city somehow. And Under what reasoning? That's what I want to know, she says, kind of shrugging her shoulders. Um, Fair enough. The guy is charismatic. He's been able to convince a couple of guards already, and I get the feeling that he's got more in his sights. I don't really know why he's doing this, but... Uh, I, don't, I, I just don't want this thing to become an, an infection, for better or worse. We can't afford to lose too many more staff, and... I, I would try to put normal guards on this, but... I don't really want to expose them to any of Vesk Van Kaskerkin's lies. So, if you're willing, I'd love for you to be able to look into this for me. It makes sense. Um, is the goal to try to convince him that the path he's gone on is, is wrong? Or has he made it clear that um, he is declaring himself the 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 new force in death. Um, to be honest, I just want to talk with the guy. Uh, first and foremost, if he can't be reasoned with, I suppose there's probably no other option than to incapacitate him by any means necessary. Um, if you're able to bring him in alive, um, I think, uh, GM forgets how much she was going to pay. Uh, 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 uh. GM checking, checking. That's where the conversation's floating. Twelve silver. <laughs> no, it was more than that. <laughs> Twelve thousand silver. Five hundred Ah, uh, there we go. Platinum. 24 uh, gold bars. We always get paid more than our last job. No. <laughs> um, the city's willing to... Oh, I, I've got the funding to pay you 500 gold pieces if you manage to bring him in alive. Half that if if he's dead. But... I, Sorry, I, I don't know if this is the, really the sort of work I can expect of uh, people like you. And she says, looking at the two of you. People like me. <laughs> oh, yeah, I think it's I, at least worth to have a con worth having a conversation with him. Um, I didn't do you mean know... any offense. I just don't know your skill sets. That's fair. <laughs> <laughs> that is fair. Um, and. Like I, I think if if he's willing to listen, we can definitely convey a convey your message that um, hope for the city is not lost. Well, uh, as long as you're you... uh, ready for the potential for violence to break out, I don't know how reasonable the man is. These two were the ones that dealt with Gadron Lamb. I think they can manage Gadron Lamb wait you're the ones you like she shots? yes she blinks oh why didn't you say so do you know how long I've been trying to scrounge up a team to take that man down nope 
<laughs> truly is a he truly is a was a monster and and how do I put this kept monsters yes exactly I I I was petitioning the king for the last year to try to get a team together to track this guy down and she seems like visibly frustrated she's like shaking um I let's just say I'm glad that you managed to deal with him then um but I heard from the reports that there were three of you uh she says kind of looking the two of you over <laughs> how does Tilios look right now <laughs> he's just standing at attention I get the sense that he's like kind of standing in the in the back while the yeah. two of them are seated in the front. <laughs> I mean, you two are the ones who have done all the work. He's just kind of here escorting you at this point, so he's just not it saying anything. It seems like, based are... on what he said, which confused me at first, but now I'm I'm getting it. That he, <laughs> I totally forgot there were two different people, and Reed's like, oh, yes, there was a third person, but. He was very mysterious, you know. I don't even think he gave us his real name, and he he really disappeared after we were done. Oh, well, that's Mystery. a shame, I guess. I know it's a real shame. He was a well, huge help. Yeah, and... if only he could be here right now to help with this, but he can't because we don't know who he is. So, uh, that's that is very unfortunate. Well, if you do manage to find this mystery man, um. Let him know that he's uh, always welcome um, to join the guard. Yes, I will pass on the message <laughs> to him directly. <laughs> if I see him again, they which I don't know if I will. I was like, there's, there's, let's add that a little bit on the end. Let's not assume we're going to see him. <laughs> I don't know where he is, but the city is, it's really a small world out there, you know? Well, it's um, a small world after all. Uh, I suddenly feel a lot more relieved than. Um, certainly, if you're able to take down Gadron, I don't see why you couldn't uh, figure out how to deal with this guy. Um. Wow. Uh, really, that just make me feel a lot better. Um. I uh, can't really provide you many additional resources uh, outside of what I've already said. Um. I do know that uh, he and his followers have been spotted in Northgate. Um. Fuck, not Northgate. Um me checks region north point <laughs> um there have been reports of uh him and his buddies being spotted up in north point but i uh, can't really say exactly where or, or what they're doing right now um if you're able to track them down and bring him to me then um the money's yours We just came from there, in fact. I so we'll just was go going right to ask, was um, Watch Sergeant Soldado one of the ones who jumped ship with Van Kaskerkin? Oh, you, you talked to him, huh? He... That's, uh, yeah, talk to him. <laughs> he said some choice words last night after our shift. Um, I tried not to take it too seriously. I was hoping that he'd be back in today, but you think he joined up with Varric? He mentioned something about Varric, I think, but he was also very drunk and was embarrassed to come back, so oh. as he probably ought to be, but... Uh, he probably took this a lot harder than the other guards. He had a lot of affection for the king. And yeah, the, the king. That was <clears throat> where the affection lied. Um, well, <laughs> we can drag him back here at some point, but I think he's sleeping it off for the time being. Uh, well, um, he was yeah, not that, in a good state. 
That would be appreciated, as long as he's okay. I mean, though if he's thrown his lot in with Varric, uh, I should still talk to him, though. Um, if he's of sound mind, feel free to send him back here. Uh, tell him I just want to talk. Um, no hard feelings. Uh, I, I know how difficult this is for everyone, really. I don't want to force anyone into doing what they don't want to do, but I thought he was a friend. I... She kind of sighs again, sort of rubbing her side of her face, and you hear a, a knock at the door. Um, is it a priest? <laughs> uh, yes, <laughs> the, the door opens, and a, a cleric of Abadar is uh, standing there in his gilded robes. Um, Mm -hmm. uh, Madam Croft, uh, oh, I'm sorry, did I interrupt something? Um, she's She waves her hand. Uh, yes, we'll, we'll just be a few more minutes, I think. We should really uh, hurry. Time is actually money when it comes to them, so. Yeah, we don't want to keep you, and it seems like the 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 good that the priest can do will, will do wonders for everyone here at the Citadel. We'll, we'll do our best to find uh, Vin Kasker again and um, see if words of reason can find any purchase. I certainly hope so, but don't hesitate to do what you have to do. Understood. Won't. She, she <laughs> blinks. <laughs> she like mm -hmm. looks at <laughs> Oh, I'm not letting uh, them get escorted. Oh, um, don't you have other duties? I will be. But I'm making sure they get there safely at least. And then I've still got to bring Growl back, so. Uh, uh, sure, as long as you don't mind taking on the extracurricular work. It's my city too. <laughs> All sad. Oh, um, yeah, I, I should probably see the priest now. Uh, good luck out there. And uh, let me know if anything develops. Great. Goodbye. Right. Yeah, we're still leaving. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll I think that was I, I'm leaving. Yeah, you shuffle out of the room it's and the, awkward the situation the, here. <laughs> the cleric, uh, the cleric shuffles in, um, so that he can cast some restorations. Um. All right. And a bunch of you, where do you go? What do you do? I presume you leave the citadel at least. Make your way down the stairs. You have to go oh. all the way back north again. I know, right? Where we just came Which from. Which is a real gosh. Pain. We need to to get. Um, Can you give you any time limit on it, by the way? So yeah, you, you don't have to necessarily rush it. Time to ignore this quest for the next. <laughs> Year and a half, real time. <laughs> now, you have a test to go take. I have you? a test. Jason, you don't seem to understand. There's a test. Wait, could this, let me, this I guy can take my test for me. Jason's never going to give me this test. <laughs> or he's going to drop it on me when I'm off in the woods. He's going to be like, oh, you missed the test, you idiot. This hasn't happened. You weren't there. Hey, at any point, you can go study for that test. <laughs> I'm never going to complete my ritual. I'm never going to study. I'm going to... You, you got know time what? I'm today. Real... You got time today. You can go do yeah, that. Yeah, all right, everyone. <laughs> I got oh, to go do my go. imp quest. No, it's fine. What are we going to do? I, genuinely, if you want to go do your imp stuff, you can do that. I'm going to go make sure that Grau gets back to the Citadel safely. Um... I do actually have a shift to work at some point today, I imagine, and need to check in on my daughter. All right, you have a job. I do, and yeah, there have been some issues with fires recently, so. How do I put this? I would prefer to to head into the into North Point informed rather than than just show up and see who starts kicking our butt. They're trying to like gather some information, figure out. Has he taken up shop, uh, like, like, like take, built a headquarters out of any any particular building up in North Point, and um, approximately how big the force is um, that we might be dealing with? 
those are the kinds of information I think I'd be after. Okay. Yeah, you can uh, you can go try to gather that information at any point. Um, and yeah, Tullios, uh, I guess as far as like work is concerned, um, the guard is currently in such a state of disarray that you can sort of pick <laughs> when your hours are. Okay. Um, they, they will take you at whatever time they show, can have you. Show up and work. Yeah. Until I can slip away at some point, so... I may actually do that right, well, after I get Grau back, um, rather than heading home. All right. So, Tullios, you're going to make your way back to the bar. <laughs> make sure Grau isn't dead. <laughs> I presume Felix will need to come with. <laughs> and, right again, you're just tagging along? Yeah. I'll see if he's dead before I go back to the academy. I don't think he is, but what a treat. Actually, she wouldn't like if people are just randomly dying, but... That would be concerning. <laughs> that would be. would be like, oh, man. Okay, so is. yeah, you make you make your way back um, and find him snoring in, in the room. What do you do? You could wait for him to wake up. You could smelling salts him up. <laughs> I was debating waiting. Like, if Tulia say I can make you a meal, um, and we can we can at least recover from our own adventures while we give this this poor guy a couple hours sleep. Then we can smelling salt him away. Poor guy. He seems disillusioned with life in general. The unhealthy attraction being a separate problem. Right. I'm more concerned with his life falling down around his head and shoulders because he couldn't find a way to talk to this girl before she left. This this other person? Like, communication? I don't know. He's... I'm not the person to talk his problems out with him. He just seems to have them. Not sure how much patience I have for that while the city's on fire. He might also be a decent source of information on on Van Casperton because um, if Grau was was disillusioned with the guard, it's very likely that he at least heard the sales pitch for um, her turning, if he, even if he didn't accept it. Mm -hmm. All right. So it sounds like waiting then. Yeah have something to eat, some coffee. Alright. I'll roll a 1d4. How many hours does it take? Oof. Three hours. One, two, three. Okay, so three hours later, you hear some shuffling down the stairs. A thudder uh, Back to the script and scrimshaw here. You guys are inside doing whatever it is you're doing. Um, and you see Rao stumble down the stairs. Good morning, uh, sleepyhead. Um, where am I? Um, the script in Scrimshaw, my old home and pub. Oh, um, and he kind of looks around. I don't think I've been this far before. Well, we haven't have. been open for a minute, but you seemed desperately in need of a glass of water and a chance to collect your thoughts. Oh. Um. Did I... Uh, uh, sorry, I, I must have made a mess. Uh, he says, looking around, um, seeing <laughs> probably the cups and stuff still thrown around. 
Um, uh, sorry, I, I can I can pay for the room if you. I must have just blacked out. Uh, he starts fishing around in his. You took care purse. of it already. It's fine. Oh. Felix will push over a, a plate of food. Your your room did come with a meal, so maybe you should uh, like sit down for a minute and finish getting your bearings. Oh, um, sure, I guess. And he sits down at your table. Um, They're all his tables, technically. True. <laughs> the table that the, four, the three of you uh, are currently at. Uh, he will sit down and start to eat. Um, yeah, sorry if I feel a bit hazy right now. Um, uh, it's okay. It's been a rough couple of days for the city all over. Yeah, it really has. I don't know how much longer things are going to hold together. As long as we have the strength to hold them together. Do we? He says, kind of looking at his hand. I don't know. Do you? Do you give up that easily? Give up? Yeah. I guess I do. It takes people like yourself to... And Felix will gesture to the, the uniform that he has on uh, to help remind the city that it it has a a it has things that endure even the loss of a great leader and the queen is still here to help hold the, hold the city together and to help us find a path forward yeah something tells me you're right what was I thinking? Ugh. Oh, my neck. Oh, my neck hurts real bad. Ugh. Yeah, you kind of took it pretty hard when you passed out. <clears throat> oh, I must have hit a table or something. Oh, or something. I'm really sorry. Well, if it makes you feel any better, I think uh, Presidia will, act or will actually take you back if you want to go talk to her. What? Wait, did, did the field marshal send you? Not exactly. We were on our way to see her, and uh, we were interrupted. And he looks pointedly at... <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, I said some pretty choice words to her. I don't, I don't think she'd forgive me that easily. Um, I think everyone in the city is going through a rough patch, and she explicitly stated that while the words you said were not amazing, the circumstances. Uh, have pushed everyone to a limit. And you are welcome to return if that's what you want. What do I want? He says, looking down at the table with his plate of food. I want my family to be safe. My sister, her kids... You know, I expect you're not alone. Um, there's a lot of turmoil now, uh, going on right now, and even members of the Guard turning vigilante and taking over parts of the city. Um, but keeping keeping the, the 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 world we've known working, I think, will help help bring that to the point. Yeah, you're 
<sighs> You're right. I feel like such a fucking coward. Ugh. Yeah. We'll stop it. Maybe no, it's that, that easy. You're right. You're right. You're right. I just need to sober up a little bit more. Well, yeah. Still got food here to eat, and um, in the meantime, have you heard anything about Varric? Varric? Oh, is was he? Talking to you too. We heard been talking to a lot of people. Yeah. Uh, he's got it in his head that the queen's gonna try to run the city on her own or something. He thinks she's gonna be a bad leader. He said he's made some connections. I don't know oh, with who. Good. Saw him with some Vudra woman once. Maybe it's some connection. That Vudra is Pathfinder Indian. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm trying to think of like the. <laughs> Just sorry, as like a that's a side note for the audience who might good not know. Side note for the audience, yeah. <laughs> like Indian, Indian, not Native American Indian. <laughs> yes. I I missed that word the first time. Thank you. Ah, yes, it's Vudra, V-U-D-R-A. Uh, the land of Vudra. Which are uh, relatively rare here. Um, mm, that's why I was I was trying to think of what they would be around for. Um, give me a society check. Yeah. I don't think that's firefighting lore this time. Um, <laughs> no. no, not firefighting lore. <laughs> All right. If you had crime fighting lore, maybe, but not crime fighting <laughs> or Corvus fight fires, Corvus. not crimes. Um, is this just just Tulios or or? Uh, no, anybody could make the society check if, as long as you live in the city. Society yeah. or ourselves. Oh, I should. I didn't. Uh... <laughs> well, now we see what it is for me, but I'll pretend I didn't see my own roll. Okay. Um, well, Tulios and Reagan, both of you don't make any particular connection uh, when he says Vudran. Um, Felix, most of the Vudrans you know uh, of or have heard of um, have some kind of connections or ties to House Arcona. Um, the family that uh, more or less runs Old Corvosa, the island um, oh. section of the town to the north. Somehow that doesn't surprise me. Like they were going to make some kind of play for power and it's it's like it's it's like finding rain in the middle of a storm. It's exactly what you're <laughs> Yeah, it's not a guarantee. There there are other Vudrans in the city, um, but House Arcona specifically, there uh, a lot of the nobles, like a lot of the actual like family members, um, are like half Vudran or like partial Vudran or uh, of Vudran ancestry. Um, their family like went out on a big expedition to Vudra many many years ago, uh, and came back with um, both like merchants and uh, some of their family had like married into Vudran families and such uh, so they they have darker skin than uh, the the average Corvosan um, and yeah most people with Vudran ties tend to be either members of the family or like businesses associated with the family mm -hmm. usually like fine goods exporting or in, and importing that sort of thing very lucrative, profitable business where yeah. goods can suddenly disappear. So yeah, you, you can mention this to the table if you wish, um, but that's what you get in your head. At the very least. Um, 
Elix will say that's it's not entirely surprising to hear um hear Van Kaskerhan's connections head lead back towards towards South Arcona. Oh well, I don't know about any of that. I just he was pretty convincing with his words, but I don't know, it just just made my depression just that much worse. I abandoning the guards one thing. I I don't think I could try to turn on them like that. You're you're stronger than many, um, because it seems that a, a small number have have thrown in uh, with with a cat cannon have taken over a bit of North Point. Do you remember all what his pitch was? Um, he he was trying to find other guys who would be interested in trying to overthrow the crown. I think said they were going to go lie low in some some place he found uh, some kind of like warehouse or something. He said he had it all mapped out. They were gonna like let things die down a bit and then strike when the time was right. I don't know. It sounded nice, but I think he's a little too optimistic about his chances. Definitely seems to have a bit of a a dream of grandeur. If 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 he th thinks that the, the monarchy is gonna gonna be overthrown quite that easily, maybe he said he was gonna try to curry favor with the people first. Something about handouts and uh, I don't really remember all the details. We'll have to investigate ourselves, I imagine. Well, <clears throat> the citizens will, I suppose. I have to get back to work. If you wanted an escort, Grau, when you're feeling up to it, I'd be happy to take you back to the Citadel. Oh, uh, yeah, if you're going back, I suppose I should go as well. He scoots his chair back and stands up. Okay. Um... He pauses a moment, and then, you know, I don't deserve to have this. He unfastens his, uh, the buckles holding his longsword, uh, sheet to his back and, um, lays it down on the table. Oh, gosh. Uh, I'll have to find a new weapon, something that I'm, it's more worthy of me. Or, sorry, something that I, I'm actually worthy of. You can sell it, do whatever you want with it. I've sullied its name for too long. Try to find it a better home. I, I hope that you can reconnect with the guard and maybe in your own eyes redeem yourself yeah, I hope so too um you take care he steps out and as he gets out on the street he like turns back to look at the sign because he's not sure where he is <laughs> <laughs> script and scrimshaw huh I thought this place was closed. We're reopening! Oh. You okay. so uh, maybe you'll point. see me again someday then. Maybe a little more sober. Uh, yeah. I should if you're getting drunk, stop. get drunk here and not show up drunk here. Try trivia night, something with an activity. <laughs> <laughs> uh, maybe I should just give up the drink altogether.
not one to judge someone for drinking. <laughs> and the two of you began walking off towards the Citadel to go to work. Yep. All right. Felix and Reagan. <laughs> what are you we up to? We just learned about a horrendous treason plot. And I feel yeah. as if everyone underreacted to that in the moment. Oh, no, I... Yours <laughs> <laughs> were open. Yours were quite open. Yeah. Is this an adult thing that... <laughs> I'm too young for a treason plot, I have to say. <laughs> That's how I feel right now. I'm too young for treason too young for this what is this did, so is the sword like left here yeah oh it's just table? yeah it's just laying yeah. on across the table currently in sheet i think felix would would like reach towards and, and examine it and and not completely unsheath it but like open it as i, I remember yeah, like, yeah like partially unsheath the sword um, that it glimmered yeah it, it it glimmers it shines it's got uh clear uh, potency rune engraved upon it. Now that you already identified some, you could clearly identify that this is a, a plus one sword, uh, but it is made out of uh, some kind of interesting material. Um, so I would need like a, a crafting or an arcana check to identify. I will sure try. I'll give Both of, of them are the same to me. Uh, crafting would be the better check. Oops. Then. Ah, I'm not doing hot. I need to make those uh, slightly blind. better. <laughs> well, no one's making them blind. That's yeah, I feel like getting a couple swords. Um, I've seen never seen a sword before, so sorry for me. Oh, I'm craftsmanship. Uh, Does have a rune me... on it though? Let's see, what is the actual item level of this? Uh, I don't remember. <laughs> One sec. <laughs> Uh, oh fuck! It changed names. Um, uh, 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 oh. Okay. Um, yeah, I think you would know this. Th maybe. Ah, sure. Um, Felix, uh, you think that this might be Dawn Silver? Um, uh, for audience, uh, Dawn Silver used to be called Mithril, uh, pre-remaster. Um, oh, didn't realize they renamed it. Yes, they did. I, I didn't know that until uh, last week when I was <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <Okay>. doing this. <laughs> um, yeah, it's it's like a it's like a lighter colored silver, um, and it basically uh, it counts as silver for the purposes of weakness, but it's lighter. Um, so the the sword itself feels very, very light. Um, I think normally a long sword, uh, what's the bulk on a long sword? Normally it'd be bulk one. Uh, it, this is a light bulk sword. So Ooh. a tenth of the heaviness of a normal out. long sword, yeah. <laughs> Lichens incoming, says Chad. <laughs> <laughs> seems important. It, well, it seems important, and running. like, I imagine I would like have to two hand pick this thing up. This is a a a strong person's weapon, and I don't know how how strong Felix is to be wielding this thing. Definitely um, not a sword person. Does Bart have the, Bart has martial way. proficiency now, right? Uh, I believe so. Um, actually, yes. Or do they Bard have martial yeah, Bard Bard does martial. have martial proficiency. The um, uh, hero bard gets other stuff now. Okay. Or um, okay. Yeah, so what? technically you could use this. Uh, I think longsword, is it two-handed or is it one and a half? It's one-handed, if I recall. Is it one-handed? Longsword, I believe What's so. What's one and a half? Nope, it's one-handed. Uh, um, uh, I, I call one and a half piercing. weapons the um, the they have the two-hand trait. You can hold it one-handed or you can hold it two-handed. And if you hold oh, it okay. two-handed, it gets extra damage. Right, I and see. Bastard Sword is one of those that's one-handed. Yeah, okay. Two -handed. Bastard Sword is the one. Yeah. 
I should remember Radiant because Adam is just it considered a, a, a one-handed sword for some reason. <laughs> okay, so yeah, long, long sword is is one-handed, uh, and yeah, this one's just very very light. Okay, well, it may be unfamiliar at first, but like Felix will move towards the center of the room and give it a swing. Don't need to take off anyone then. Yeah, I'll just <laughs> watch from a distance. <laughs> Let me uh, let me toss it into your gear. Don silver blade gloves, sneaker snack. Um, I need some of that for my claws. The bolt needs to change to light. I hope that was. I think that was the case. Don silver. Mm -hmm. Yeah, metal item made of. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Yeah, items bulk is reduced by one. It didn't automatically do it, so I was surprised. Okay, that is surprising. Um, yeah, so you, you have the the long sword there in your gear, but you take a swing and it gives like a um, there's this uh, metallic whoosh sound, um, and it leaves behind a kind of a, a light streak behind it that fades pretty quickly. Um, but ah. it feels oddly easy to handle, even though you've never held a long sword before. I hope with I hope our our next mission doesn't bring us to use this, but I'm glad we'll have it around all the same. Yes, well, fuck, there was something I was gonna do. I had a cool thing, and now I don't remember <laughs> what it was. But it had to deal with me going back. Oh, I wanted to get the weird statue that I found from Gadron Lamb. If we're gonna go at any point to a shop to get it identified because I certainly don't know what it is. So I need to go get that. Oh, yep, you're more uh, than welcome. Uh, succubus one? Yeah. Okay. I don't know if we identified that ever as important. Um, you did not, um, but you could fish it out of your bag. Uh, or, oh, was it in your... Oh, yes, it's in the academy Oh, it's in the box. dorm. Okay. Yes, I would have to um, go get it. So after your shopping trip earlier, you remembered that you needed to sell some something. So you you go running off to the academy. Uh, Do that. Maybe I'll <laughs> get my imp. Up. Um, so you say you'll be back, and uh, all right. Um, cool. In that case, some time passes. Uh, you return. Do some shopping. Um, when would you guys next want to meet? So Telios is going to do some number of hours on his shift. Are you planning on meeting again uh, tonight? Uh, are you planning on doing some exploration? Or uh, when would you like to go gather information? I'd be ready to go out tonight after some time on a shift. Um, but Telios has weird hours. Yes, um, do. I think Felix would be ready to go off in the evening as well. Like, um, there are some seedier bars than mine that need visiting to gather gather the sorts of information that might be most useful. Like, exactly where um, and Kaskerkin in the has set up shop in the North Point, um, and that's the sort of thing that's done with fewer daylight. Uh, Fewer, a, a smaller amount of daylight in the world. All right. Uh, in that case, then we'll uh, we'll skip over some time. Uh, you take that um, that statuette of the uh, the, the double succubus statuette um, to Nia Gold, um, and which she will help identify for you. Um, it is just a a fine. Uh, finely crafted art piece. Um, she might mention who the artist is. Uh, I think it's a Chalaxian artist. Um, so I'm trying to find where you put that. It's in where my treasure. It? Oh yes, party stashes. Yeah. Oh, um, I put it in my bag recently. Oh, it's in your bag now? Okay. Yes, um, it's in my bag. Along with a starry wand that I don't know what it is still. Uh, oh, that's true. Um, <laughs> uh, you could have her identify that as well, though that... This. Let's see if she is able to do yeah. that. 
Oh, there's an unusual liquid as well. These are three things that I don't know what they are. Okay. Um, she will attempt to identify... Yeah, so the statue, uh, statuette is uh, quite expensive. Uh, it's very Ooh. finely crafted. That one is worth 450 gold. Oh, my goodness. Uh, da, da, da. How do I, like, demystify the item? Do I have to, like, open it? There we go. Ooh. Okay, so yes, the, the double succubus lesbian's figurine is 450 gold. Very expensive. Uh, and the the wand she will attempt to identify. Uh, she has no clue. Nobody she knows. Sure. <laughs> a mystery <laughs> wand. You just got to try it out and see what happens. I That's will at some point <laughs> try out this wand. Um, yeah. I will curious. also during mm -hmm. this downtime get rid of the fucking heads that apparently <laughs> I have been holding on to. I don't know what I'm going to do with them. I'm probably just going to find a sack and then toss them into the river at some point okay. on my way. <laughs> Basic, on my way to go meet everyone else, I will have put it's them delightful. into a sack and then just kind of walk past the water and just kind of off and just hope nobody notices. Do you do that in Tullius or, or as no, Mayhem? No, we're, when we're going out uh, looking for information, we're going out as Mayhem. Okay. So, so yeah, you... You leave the house in the evening, uh, or you, you come back home to grab the heads, uh, which you've hidden under a floorboard, <laughs> and it started to smell. Uh, <laughs> so weird. Uh, <laughs> Just the weirdest habit. And, Strange yeah, choice you, I made. <laughs> you make your way over to the uh, to the docks and uh, toss the the sack in the in the river. Uh, the river right guard. The um. The unusual liquid uh, she is able to identify for you. Uh, it is a an oil of keen edges. Ooh. Uh, uh, this grants the benefits of the keen rune to a weapon for one minute when applied. Oh, that's nice. Um, this is a pretty high level item. This is a level yeah. 11 item. Can I apply this to my claws? <laughs> yes. Do yeah. Do they do slashing? Yeah. yeah. Nice. Yeah, I think Sheet. it works on. Yeah, any kind of. Yeah, it makes a, a, all 19s crit. Hmm. As long as that result, as long as 19 would have succeeded, it becomes a. Crit. Yeah, it just has to be on a piercing or slashing weapon, I believe. Nice. Yeah, I think so. So yeah, it's a it's a one use thing. Um, it's nice to have though. All right. I'll probably sell this art sculpture. Honestly, it has no other purpose other than being pretty. Ooh. Uh yes, gay. Uh, GM can inform you that it is it is just an art object. It is not of. Uh, I will sell story significance sold when we swung <laughs> by earlier i would have sold this kraken carving that apparently we also picked up while we were there i think oh yes um is that it's in just your in house inventory. or in your inventory okay yeah um yep yeah, that is also uh, just value okay it's in mayhem's it. inventory oh in mayhem's inventory uh -huh. sorry i i never transferred it over to the other one yeah uh Okay, uh, that is uh, 200 gold. Okay, sure. We'll For just that one. Pawn it's got that some off. nice garnet eyes. And we'll also pick up a set of gauntlets and then a set of spiked gauntlets as well, if she okay. has them in stock. Um, yes, she she would have those in stock. Yeah, they're both pretty common. Ooh, so that's so. a big thing. So Tolios will put on the gauntlets and we'll have them wearing those and Mayhem will later put on spiked gauntlets instead. Okay. I, yeah, I suppose the spiked gauntlets are a little bit more menacing looking. <laughs> that, that was my thought. I'm like, it would be, it's neat to have the piercing option, but um, they would look a little bit rough for firefighting purposes. <laughs> so. Yeah, they've just got like the leather band and, and like the spikes on the uh, on the end. Yep. Um, across the knuckles. They'll work. Um... Okay. Um, um, could I oh. have sold off the hand crossbow that I've got? Um, with no bolts, I think it's just an ornament. Oh, yeah, you can. 
Um, did it have a rune on it? No, I think it's just okay. the old random hand crossbow. Oh, no, your hand crossbow oh. has a plus one rune on it. Okay. Um, so you may wish to get that transferred to someone else's weapon or to your whip, potentially. Yeah, your whip would be a good place to put it. To the whip, uh, if if uh, if the transference service is available, that's where I would put it. Um, yes, Nia, Nia can do that. Um, to transfer a rune, it is 10% of the rune's price, I believe. And for a potency, weapon potency, plus one is normally 35. So that's so just 3.5. Uh, so yeah, 3.5 gold then. So three gold, five silver. Do, do, do. Come back, character sheet. And this will, uh, she won't have it ready until tomorrow. Um, she doesn't do the transfer herself. She has, uh, she has an associate that she uh, uses for these sorts of things. And it, it, it takes them a, a day to turn around. But you should be able to pick it up basically at any point tomorrow. They work overnight. Um, so alright so you, you can just mark your your. Uh, you can move the plus one to the whip um, by editing the whip itself uh, I can also do it we go to whip, we go to details and then in potency rune we change the potency to a plus one cool and, yeah, and I'll drop the Update the name? Oh, it should have updated the name. Maybe at some point someone changed the name. I'll just change it to plus one whip. <laughs> there you go. And I'll drop the hand crossbow now. Yep. And you can get the half half of whatever hand crossbow price is. So hand crossbow is normally three gold, so you get half of three gold, so one point five. So one gold five silver for selling the crossbow. Uh, oh, and Reagan says 150 gold to each person for the statue. Yes, I would split it because the other one was split. The whatever it was, the thousand bricks. True. She you guys are coming it. into a lot of money. I was just noting that. Time to get robbed. <laughs> I don't like this. <laughs> we have to spend it right now. Again. Uh, for 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 audience members who are curious, I use I, I give the party way more money than is normal by wealth by level. There's a reason uh, for it, though. There is a reason for it. <laughs> I know your tricks. Yeah, I I need to go shopping because like this gold needs to turn into things that will help keep us alive. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Can um, I get a bandolier of health potions? Like, like I think it would just look cool. Oh, sure, you could you could have a bandolier yeah. and put health potions in it. Yeah, you're able to wear them. Um. Okay. So while while shopping is happening, uh, Tullius, when you come back home, <laughs> uh, you're prying those floorboards open to get the heads out, uh, <laughs> and stuff them into a sack. Uh, you hear a knocking at your door. Uh, like at your room door, um, uh, while I'm in Dad? the middle of, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey. I think I, I, we're stuffing it all back in there. Real yeah. quick. <laughs> just all of a sudden, <laughs> you yeah, like throw, throw a rug over it. <laughs> yeah, just and and five seconds flat. Just shove everything in there. <clears throat> yes, uh, come on in, Lizzie. Oh, uh, oh, sorry. Are you doing something? I'm just getting ready to go out for another shift tonight. Um, oh, but, again? Well, there's still a lot of unrest in the city. So, trying to keep things under control as best we can until the Queen normalizes things. But how long do you think that's going to be? I don't know. I hope a couple of days. Might be a couple of weeks. But she'll get everything under control soon. The people will get back to business as usual. Things will calm down. 
do you, do you think I'll be able to leave the house again? Yeah. Yes. Well, well when things have calmed a bit more, I'll make sure you're <clears throat> able to leave. Um, I just, right now, I'm I don't want you to get taken again. Uh, yeah. Well, I was just... I mean, I've been at home a lot lately. I've had a lot to think about. And, um, Dad, would it, would it be okay if I, like, got a job or something? What just kind of work were you thinking about? Uh, I, I don't know. Um, like the the store, maybe, or something simple. Um, it's just I really hard. No, a at couple home. of people we can talk to if you'd like. Do you? Unless you have some place in mind. I have some options I've kind of vetted already, as it turns out, though I don't know if they're hiring. Um. Oh. Do you sure, remember? Yeah. Do you remember Felix from a few days ago? Uh, oh, the the guy with all the purple. He, yeah. Yes. Um. I mean, he does own a bar. I need to see what kind of work you'd want you doing there, but I. As he gets busier, he may actually have need to staff out. Oh, that that'd be nice. Um, it's just I've been so being trapped at home all day. Kind of honestly feels like being at the fishery. Right. I I I know that's not what you you want I, I just I just I, I don't want you to get lost again that's all I I, and I, I can't like to have again. something to, to do <laughs> no I, I understand I understand so well let me talk to Felix and see if maybe we can arrange something otherwise there was that um um that uh store I was just at earlier I don't know if Nia is needing a lot of extra help but we have kept her busy enough. Maybe she could use some extra hands. It's worth asking. Oh, yeah, that that could be cool too. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I don't want to. Uh, I have never really had a job before, so I, I don't know if I. I have no idea. This is not. <laughs> I've I've not had to apply for a job in a number of years, so I imagine you just walk in and ask them for what work there is to be done and let them know that you'll get it done with a firm handshake and things will be great. <laughs> Thanks, Boomer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just walk in. To tell them that you're here for the here for the job that they don't have a listing for. They'll, they'll hire you on the spot. That's what they did to me back in my day. <laughs> I just walked in the guard's office, acted like I was a guard, and suddenly I was. Uh, anyway. Exactly. <laughs> just started to pick up, pick up a broom. Give me a nickel a day, spent it on canned beans. <laughs> um, well, well, thanks, Dad. I, I didn't think you'd be so... Uh, well, thanks. And she runs in for a, for a hug. Yep. You're welcome. And it's a little awkward... <laughs> Some of this reaction has definitely been the fact that he's not wanting her to be looking at the thing that he's kind of standing on. <laughs> this awkward rug. She, like, scrunches up her face and, like, recoils a little bit. What's that smell? Uh, Dad, have you, it, have you bathed lately? It's been a very long day. Very long <laughs> couple of days. I'll... I'll make sure to bathe when I get to the Citadel. Alright. You should also take care of yourself. I don't want to lose you either, Dad. Well, if I take care of the city, it'll take care of us. Alright, well. Good luck at work. 
and she'll go back to her room. Okay. Did I just agree to let my daughter go out every day to work someplace? Oh god. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um I need to get rid of it. It helps it's a quiet bar. <laughs> 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 Delios is just like brain fried having just gotten back from work having to go back out again with uh, his heads uh, okay heads gotta deal with the heads, heads. <laughs> gonna go deal with the heads we'll talk to Felix tonight and maybe we'll actually take her to talk to Nia tomorrow <laughs> um, but well uh, yeah <laughs> alright <laughs> Uh, go get rid of some heads. Yep. Right into the river. Hopefully okay. nobody sees them. And then I presume rejoin with the others at the Weigh bar. Weigh them down. Yes, once uh, shopping's been completed. Yeah. Um, this would probably be... Uh, what is it? Uh, we'll call it like 10 o'clock. Sure. Did I get to do any of my ritual, or did I not have time? Oh, um, I mean, how many hours did I just day, but I, It was oh. eight hours that I was working at least, so... Because it was oh. noonish, and then we Let waited... Let me fail my ritual. <laughs> it was three-something when we got back, and he woke up. So it's now ten-something. Okay, we'll say... Let's say it's eleven o'clock then, and sure, you could attempt your ritual. Ooh, time to fail it after trying to attempt it for so long. I would offer to help, but I'm no good at magic. Do you do it at the script and scrimshaw, or are you doing it at the academy? No, I do it at the academy. It starts to happen at the bar. Like, the I bar lay reopens. my stuff. <laughs> there's like, rooms upstairs. The bar didn't like, really please. reopen. It's soft opened, and there's already been a bar fight, and now there's a ritual. We have the infernal pact. Ooh, where's my All right. Uh, so yeah, you're casting a modified Infernal Pact um, yes. to attempt to summon an imp. Do I hit and this? What? This is a Oops. ritual one. Uh, I assume you're casting it at the at the first rank as well. Yes. All right. Uh, so I'm trying to get the imp. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Imp, not the poopy one. Oh uh, yes, not the other to you or whatever. <laughs> um, okay, uh, yeah. Go ahead and give me a uh, blind. Um, I guess it's a. I guess normally it would be a religion check, but because you are the wizard, I would do Arcana. But also, don't you have um. You have a lore that's specific to the school, right? I have necro. No, I have a yeah, academia lore, summoning lore. I have. Yeah, so I would allow you to do summoning lore instead. All right, the, and it's blind. Uh, blind, yeah, go ahead and do it blind because it'd be funnier if you fail that way. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I don't know what I'm passing here. Go. <laughs> um, would Would you like to use a hero point? <laughs> Or hero point? A hero if point. you use the hero point, it takes the highest one, right? Uh, if you use it on a blind roll, I'll allow it to take the highest. Okay, I will. I want safety. <laughs> Who knows? They <laughs> might both be ones. So, yes, I will do this uh, blind. Camp you roll. at least improve right. your chances. Hey, right. right from four to three. Let's do it with advantage. <laughs> <laughs> Please. I just like uh... do a horrible job. <laughs> Oh damn! You also Joey sucks gave you a crit uh, on your hero yeah. check, so you got plus two hero points. So you're back up to five. Yay! Woo! Um, okay. Thank um, you. So you set out all of the the herbs and spices, <laughs> um, and <laughs> arrange. <spices. laughs> Are you something like? Ooh. Yes, KFC. cinnamon. Corvosa fried chicken. For you. Yes, <laughs> cinnamon. Secret Secret spices. <laughs> Um, yeah, so you lay out the summoning circle in your room, 
uh, follow all of the uh, the steps. You spend the eight hours like arranging everything just right, restudying, recopying the ritual, um, and you're pretty certain that you've got everything right. And then, like, <laughs> with the last hour to go, as like the magical energies are starting to siphon into the room and the magical portal is starting to open, you realize that you made like a pretty bad, like critical <laughs> error in your math, and you scramble to like rearrange the runes on the floor um, <laughs> to to be in the right formation. Uh, oh, and as the the hour comes to a close, uh, the the little gate finally fully stabilizes and a small red uh, creature, a tiny little red creature Yay. pops out. Uh, I'm glad I re-rolled. <laughs> 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 As you successfully summon this little ah, guy. Hey, he's little buddy. Guy. Yeah, he's just a little guy. He's kind of satyr looking, um, it, but he's red and he's tiny. He's got My little got demonic goat horns, little little goatee, and two little uh, red black uh, red bat wing wings, and a little uh, devil tail. Um, hey there, boss! Hello! Oh my goodness! You don't know how long it's taken me to summon you. What a pain! Nope. But you're... No, I don't. Nope. But you're here. Mm-hmm. You're gonna. You got work for me, study. boss. Yeah, you're going to help me study. We're going to get books. We're going to learn spells. We're going to pass a test. Mm, okay, and you might get to kill someone at some point. Oh, killing someone. That sounds yeah. fun, boss. You might get so, to do that. Are we, are we studying how to kill? Uh, no, not quite. We're studying, and she lays out the variety of topics she just hasn't oh. focused on. <laughs> I know. I'm oh. not a fan either. <laughs> If that's what you want, boss. Sure, I'm game. How many... How is my role for, like, how long this thing stays around? Oh, right. Uh, there's a there's a timing to this, isn't it? Um, yes. Let's see. <laughs> you got a day, boss. <laughs> a day, great. <laughs> We're going to get a lot crammed in in this day. <laughs> it was just your first one. <laughs> my first of many alright day let's get a move on that's like 24 hours from now so tomorrow night yep damn does Megan right. have tonight, time tonight to come research with us she doesn't have to no she is. she's probably going to do some studying and meet up tomorrow she'll probably get in touch and be like hey are you guys good getting whatever you need done done because this exam is incredibly Tonight. important. Yes. <laughs> no matter what Jason says, this is the priority <laughs> of this campaign. <laughs> so is, I don't care. Yeah. We're playing Jason strength of thousands. Jason told me I had a test. <laughs> We're mostly going to collect Hey, I books. didn't say the classes got postponed. I didn't say the test got postponed. <laughs> I don't know. That's the problem. So we, gotta, we really got to go. Double time. <laughs> chop, chop. All right, if that's what you want, boss, let's go. Let's go. Do, 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 do. All right. Uh, you, the imp, uh, go off to the library and you let the party know that you're not going to be joining them for uh, the festivities tonight. Um, as far as the initial uh, information seeking is. Um, and I think uh, with the clattering of what I presume are the coins. <laughs> <laughs> on the table. <laughs> was playing with his very nice campaign coins. Uh, <laughs> I think uh, that is probably going to do it for the evening. So, <laughs> thank you for joining us, everyone. <laughs> I hope you had fun. Uh, yeah, we were, were out last week because uh, sickness claimed Char, but uh, we are back, okay. and I think we we're back for the foreseeable. Well, Except a couple of weeks. Week. Uh, I think, yeah, I think we have uh, one week one. and then we're off. It might be two weeks. I also have to go. We're gone on the 11th. Okay, so we'll be here next week, the 4th. Yes, I'm gone on the 11th. We're gone on the 11th. We'll be back for two weeks. And then I'm gone for a week. 
and then we've okay. got four weeks in a row that we are theoretically back. So, huh. <laughs> ha. We are here. And I'm queer. Get used to it. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.